but not too quickly. Um, because I want to make sure that uh, I share enough so that when we get to that question and answer period, uh, that you will be comfortable or, or informed and, and you feel like sharing. So, as you see, this is an interesting mission. Um, I'm going to do a little Q&A right now. Can I ask someone to, to maybe interpret this mission? What, what do you see? Before I say that's exactly right, how many of you thought the same thing? <laughs> so, but she's exactly right. And the reason that I wanted to use it this way is because we've moved into a season of visual communication. Uh, we, we had it before with hieroglyphics, but then we got involved into other ways of communication, and uh, we had traditions of oral traditions and being able to pass down that history and that knowledge. And then we went to a lot of written history, which has been extremely helpful and valuable. Uh, but now we seem to be in this season of visual communication where uh, we're back to icons. And, and this is the way in which young people not just communicate, but literally they can read what this means. And it means something to them. So as leaders, as professionals, as persons who engage working with young people, it's important that you begin to develop your use of language and understanding of what these symbols mean and maybe incorporate that in some of the work that you do. Uh, but looking again, as you mentioned, our mission is, is pretty simple. Uh, we try to use media in a way, whether it's um, capturing through pictures, images, or moving images, video, um, chat conversations with young people, and that is a landscape of the uh, city of Atlanta. You can see the 191 buildings and a couple other uh, areas here in Atlanta, but that's specific to Atlanta, and the reason it's specific to Atlanta is because urban ministry is specific, uh, it's contextual, it means that uh, we make a choice to do work in ministry in these areas, and it's also public. Um, I know uh, Brother Webb speaks mightily of public theology and what does it mean to take what you believe and then be able to take that out into the community. So. Clearly, that's our mission. And we say who? Someone want to take a stab at uh, who is our audience? Who are we engaging? Can everyone see? Yes, sir. All faiths, all denominations. All faiths, all denominations. Age of 14 to 40. 14 to 40. <coughs> Global. And local. Thanks. You guys didn't even have a class yet. <laughs> so these symbols do represent that. 